Hi, my name's Jason. This is my uh, Coachman Starflight. It's a year 2000. It's on a Ford E350 chassis. This is me. Hi. And I'm going to take a little video tour of the camper van. So this is a 20 foot long, um, what's called a Class B plus. You can see that's on a van chassis and it's just wider than your average van that's what makes it a b plus you can see the fairings come out here so on the exterior um i had the front part professionally painted um in a tacoma cement color it's a factory color same color as my tacoma and then on the rest of it i painted it with a as you can see here a uh, what's called a Raptor liner, it's using truck bed liners, and it's bomb proof, UV proof. I did the bottom in a black skirt. There was a little bit of damage here, I think I backed into like a stick or something like that, cracked off. That's a little piece of fiberglass, very easily fixed. I just didn't take the time to do it. Got new tires, these I thought they were ATs, um, which they are in the back here or in the front so we have these firestone um, ag2s in the front and then on the dualies we have the cooper discovery hdps which are a little more highway friendly but also good if you go on fire roads i did the wheels in the black raptor lining as well did a real professional job of it so it should last forever this is a new fiamma awning see up there it's a 45 s <clears throat> it's got outdoor speakers this fell off i'll have that replaced for someone buys it um there's a lot of storage here's her storage panel the shower units right near with the toilet so you can access a lot of the plumbing under here i also have the jack and stuff like that stored under there here is the pull outs I think that's gray water. This is gray water. That's black water for the plumbing system, which runs under the van here. You drain it out on the other side. I installed this ladder some time ago. I also rhino lined that. You can see up there, that's a solar backup camera. This is a brand new Yakima Exo swing out. Um, I put the bike rack on top in the box on the bottom. This is brand new, cost me like 2K. Um, put all new rear lights on here. It's all LED all the way around the whole van. All the lights are new with updated LED. I'm a veteran. Here's my license plate. Probably should have covered that up. Uh, here's some more storage here. This is where I have the extra house battery. This, as you can see, is an Ames Power 100 watt hour iron phosphate 12 volt. And it attaches to the other battery, which is up there. It's all recharged by the, um, before we talk about that, this is all the hosing and storage and everything. This is a 30 amp plug-in wire right there. This is the sewage drain system right there. This is a propane tank. I think it's a 15 gallon under there. I mean, I've, I've run everything off of that for a week. Barely put a dent in it, lasts forever. There's a gas tank, hose storage right there. I pulled, resealed all the windows. These are all sliding windows with screens. You can see up there some of the fabric. So I put fiberglass fabric all on the seams on the entire, all the way to the camper van. And I'll show you the roof in a minute. This is where the fridge is. It's a Dometic three-way, meaning it uses AC, DC, and can run off the propane. The fridge works great. This is where the other house battery is right in there. This is the generator. So it's an on on. Works great. It's just the carburetor. Uh, well, I won't open that. The carburetor in there just, I never used it. So the gas runs off the engine gas. Kind of got gunked up a little bit. You could either clean the carburetor, which isn't hard to do. And I also even bought a new carburetor that comes with a van. If you want to have it replaced, if you're handy, you could do it yourself. It's not too complicated. Here's the 30 amp plug right there. If you want to do shore power, it's a little 
walk around here. It looks like the I had one of the little caps up there fall off. I just noticed that. That'll be replaced. I installed this really cool iron horns on the front of the hood, which I thought was pretty neat. Kind of like a doorknob. You know, I like the rust that came down, but you see I put a new grill on here. Round line the bumpers. These are brand new headlights, LED. All right, that's the exterior. Let's go inside. Here's the passenger entrance. You can see everything's nice and clean. I redid all this wood and uh, painted everything to match with a gray. This is a new seat. These do not turn around. As you can see, this cab doesn't really accommodate seats that will pull up and shift around. So regrettably, you don't have that, but it's still fine. Put some uh, nice little, um, whatever the fuck you call those things, put things in there. All right. Here's the door. Painted it red because I thought it looked cool. This has a screen right here. You can pull out. Just slide right through. This is the heater exhaust. This is outdoor 110 volt. You can plug in. There's a really cool tool storage right here. This is where I keep the tools. That's the carburetor right there, the new carburetor if you want to install that. Then you just step up into the van. I already got the lights on here. So I put all these lights on dimmers, as you can see. Like that they're dimmed and as i think i mentioned in the post i stripped this van completely bare and redid everything so i did reuse the oak cabinets because i thought they were super cool we just repainted them and reinstalled them and you can see there's so much storage in here this is ridiculous so much storage there was a you can put a television right there I don't watch TV, so I don't care. But you see this hole you can run through. And there's 110 volt right there you can plug it into. I did install a bunch of uh, 110 volts with USB plugs in. Plug-ins all around the van. Probably a little excessive. Trimmed everything out with stainless steel. So you can see up here, this is cedar. So I did everything in cedar. This is the... Um, AC ventilation system. You have six vents. You can screw up and down to try to triangulate it. This is the AC vent right here, which is vented all the way down. Or you can close it and have the air come out right here to the bed. This thing slides out. If you see this, this slides out into a, a bed, which I think is like a twin XL. So my wife and I fit right in here. You just pull the cushions down. I use a uh, really nice X-pad inflatable mattress for this. It's super cozy. And uh, you take this table, as you can see down there, and you plug it in here, and this can be a little seated area. This also pulls out into a bed. So you can see how wide that is. This is really good. We had our son sleep here. It goes all the way down there. So it's good for someone that's about five foot eight. Um, anyone could sleep there. You might just need to curl up if they're six foot. All the windows have the two side blackout curtains. So that's blackout. This is shade. Right? I had these custom installed here that I did myself. And then the window slides open. So you have just the window, and then you have a screen that can open up too. Uh, we did these valances, custom fabric. We changed out all the cushioning with this leather, uh, not real leather, just uh, like more like vinyl, but it's super easy to clean. Um, this is a, you see a propane stove, works great. This is the, how you check the system. So you can see you have a, a Gray water, black water, fresh water, LP gas, and battery condition. This is the pump. You heard that? It's a water pump. Here's the hood light. Hood fan. Little chalkboard. You can put something inspiring on there. 
It's all the storage. I put the good uh, red cedar in here because it's bug resistant. It's in the back of all these, carpeted, super clean. I used to be a general contractor, woodworker and stuff like that. And a little coffee thing in there. So here's the microwave. It's crazy how much microwaves cost. This thing was 1200 bucks. Apparently you can cook a steak in this because it's convection. I would never do that, but you can. Here is paint for the inside of the van. So I painted everything. There's only a few areas that actually have paint. And while we're on the idea of the walls, in these Coachman Star Flights, it's all fiberglass. So it's, uh, I think, a two-inch thick fiberglass walls. And the inside is styrofoam uh, insulation. So it's very well insulated. Um, yeah, so back to this. This is a little closet. Also right here, as you can see, this is where the... Uh, solar panels up top. There's 200 watts of solar. I plug this directly in to a solar charger, a Lion, Lion Energy Safari ME solar charger system that you can purchase for an extra 1500 bucks if you want it. If not, this can easily, through that hole, be set up to the batteries, which are here and under here, with the MPPT charger and all that stuff. And there's so much space and room in this van for storage, you could easily set it up with enough power to run the air conditioner. And I'll put a giant air conditioner on here because I like it nice and cool. So you could run that. This is also a plug that I ran over here and connects if you want to have in like an extra freezer. So I have a Dometic freezer that sometimes I would put right there. But you also have a three-way fridge here that runs off of DC ac and propane here's a freezer this thing works great sometimes you got to have a little extra freezer space that's why i set up that other spot for that um there's a little safe down here for your valuables which is super cool i got the key for that the captain's chair is electric fully adjustable let's start it up real quick a v10 plenty of power in this van even fully loaded hauls ass up heels um it drives very well it's easy to drive i put a new stabilizer like an upgraded stronger steering stabilizer new suspension and with the dually and the tires um it, it's super smooth driving really easy to drive ac works great i got the air conditioner uh totally um rebuilt it not that it didn't work that well at the front but i live in arizona it's super hot I like to have a good air conditioner and as you can hear it works great um this 